Hey, today we're walking through how to organize your life using Sinsama. That's the tool that I use to get all of my things done. So let's just, uh, you know, get right into it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to have to head over to Sinsama's website and sign up for an account. There is a free trial. If you already have one, then you know, let's just get into it. Okay, so typically this is how you're going to end your day, but let's go how, let's go through how to time block. So today is Sunday and I am going to start planning for my week. So let's go ahead and click close. So you can see that I have a blank week here. Okay. Um, I have a bunch of tasks that I do need to get done. So I'm going to show you how you can time block with Sinsama. But before we do that, let's go through um, the way that you organize the things that you do. So here I have things under business and then I have things under personal. So I have um, kind of everything that's going on. I have my work, which I have a real job. And then I have anything that I have to do for customers. This is for my jewelry business. And then this is content. So typically with content, it's content like this or um, anything that I have to do for work that is content. So I'll add that there because content does take a lot of time and I want to make sure that I dedicate enough uh, time and effort and mental energy to it. Then of course I have things that I have to do in my house. I have things that I have to do for me. And then I have things that I have to do for the kids. And then I also have um, my work calendar and then I have my consulting calendar. So what I find really nice about this tool is that you can color code things and it just makes things a lot easier. Um, so I like to prioritize my work, obviously, because it is my full time job. But I like to add in things like swimming lessons, um, any housework that needs to get done, anything that I need to do for personal growth. It's a really great way to color code absolutely everything. This is really important if you do like to see things visually. Um, then this is a great app. So go ahead, let's go ahead and plan plan the week. Oh, also, sorry, before we start planning the week, is that there is integrate an integration with Google Calendar. There's also integrations with Trello, Notion. I have the integration with Notion because I do love Notion. Gmail, you can pull out your emails and make them tasks, which is really, really cool. And then you can also do um, weekly objectives, which I find nice if you're working on a long-term project. The other thing is um, there are some snooze tasks here. So these are the things that you probably didn't get around to. And then you can take them out of the archive and then put them back in um, in your to-do list. Okay, so now, sorry about that, we are going to start planning the week. Now I have to check this brief for work. So I'm gonna put that and um, I'm going to assign a time to it. So this is really, really important. You can plan times. Now, the nice thing is that Sinsama will give you an estimated time. So this is really great if you use something like um, mo motion or is it? Yeah, motion. Um, so it can give you like a predicted workload based on what it, how long it thinks it's going to take you. So I do believe that this is going to take about 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now you can see here that it has a roundup or a total of the time that it believes it's going to take you to do things. I also do have to look over a design for um, something for my work. So add that there, 30 minutes. I think it'll probably take me 45 minutes to write all the feedback and that kind of thing. So add that there. Um, I actually already did this. So I'm going to click that. Um, I'm going to call these people. This is uh, just somebody that I need to call. That's under Jamila. I can do that on Tuesday. And that really honestly should only take me 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, I already did this. And then I have to do this. I'll do that tomorrow as well for work. I actually already did this. Actually, I did a lot of work on, on Friday. I just forgot to check it off. Um, I already did this too. And then what is this update thing? Oh, I have to update that. So I'm going to do that on Wednesday. All right. So that's kind of how I plan my tasks for the week. So whatever I didn't get around to on Friday, then I'll move them to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so kind of spread them over the week. But I do want to show you something uh, really cool. Let's just say task one. Okay, and then let's say task one is actually a home task. Um, and yeah, we'll do it for tomorrow. So I have task one. Now what you can do is you can, let's click on Monday. 
So now I can move my task one here and I can time block it. It is so cool. So I already have my Google Calendar um, linked to Sansama. So my time is already blocked out based on the task that I said that I was going to do. So I am going to write or update a blog post for my work. Um, I have that as a weekly recurring task because I do need to make sure that we have fresh content on the site. Um, I obviously make videos for my work once a week. So that's um, a, a weekly recurring task. Um, I have some flow clubs in here, which I am actually going to delete. I do love flow club. I have to say that if you aren't part of flow club, then you should, um, you should probably look into it. It's one of my favorite, favorite things ever. Um, and then it also has pulled my meanings in from my work. So you can see here that like, there's only so much time that I have in the day because I already have my, my work blocked out. That's why I don't have that many tasks because I do have these weekly recurring tasks that are for long-term goals. So I'm actually going to do all of these things early. I'm going to check this design at 9 a.m. after I finish working out. I'm going to check this brief oh, at 10 a.m. Oh. Okay, so see, um, almost all of my day is already uh, filled up. So I feel like a lot of times we think that we need to get a lot of things done, but we don't realize how many other tasks we have in the day. And that's why at the end of the day, we feel like we haven't accomplished anything. But if you have your... um. If you have your day planned out in time block and visualized here in Sinsama, then it works really, really well. So let me also show you how you can add tasks from emails, which is really cool. So um, let's go to Gmail. And uh, OK, so let's say I have this is all, just all a bunch of junk mail. <laughs> but let's say I'm like, oh, this audit, I need to make sure that I follow up on this audit. So I can say on Wednesday, I'm going to follow up on this email. It's going to take me 20 minutes. Actually, it takes a little bit longer for SEO. So I'm going to say it's going to take an hour. And you can see that I can just take emails from my, my Gmail and make them tasks instead of like having to go through my emails and then um, be like, oh, I should do this and then add it to my to-do list. No, I can do it straight from here. And then when it comes to things like Notion, I have like a bunch of things that like to follow up on or like things that I find interesting. And typically I will put those on my once a month Friday learning days and then I'll follow up on all of those things. Like, you know, sometimes you save things on LinkedIn and you're like, oh, this is really interesting. I want to come back to this. Or sometimes there's a course that you want to take and you're like, oh, I'll come back to this and I'll do a module. Um, I, I usually pull those from Notion. So you can see that it's very, very easy to um, add in all of your things from here. So that's basically how I organize my life with Sinsama. I will try to add another part here that shows kind of like a more full calendar, but you can kind of get the uh, idea. So if you want to try Sinsama, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description. And thank you guys so much for, for seeing how I organize my week and how you can also organize your life. Okay, bye.